This is the kind of high-speed car that needs the special made-to-measure seats produced by this small but fast-growing firm. They got involved in the land speed record because more and more racing drivers are calling for their seating service. The driver of this jet car, seen practicing on an airfield in Yorkshire, is one of their customers. He set a new British land speed record, averaging 269 miles an hour. Well, the driver of the, of the vehicle had to reach a speed which was just over 300 miles an hour in a very short space of the track. And that meant that the loading on his back was equivalent to about one and a half tonnes. So our seat had to be an exact copy to match the shape of his back in order to spread the forces over the whole of his back. The firm, based in the little village of Martin near Fordingbridge, began by producing seats for wheelchairs. 90% of their work is for the National Health Service, but their expertise is now being used in motorsport. All our seats start off with taking a mould of the, the person that we're actually going to make a seat for, which is done in an evacuated bean bag like this. This is just little polystyrene beads held under vacuum. We've then got a purpose-built machining centre which copies that shape into foam, so the shape of the driver is actually cut out of a, a solid block of foam of whatever density we choose to use, depending on the forces involved. We've started doing racing cars last year, and the land speed record attempt has just been the, the icing on the cake for us because it's, we can now say we've got the fastest seat in the UK and that makes us all feel pretty good about it here. It's also good for the disabled people who use the wheelchairs. They can be confident this firm is well ahead with a technology shared by one of Britain's fastest growing sports. Enthusiasts have been hill climbing for nearly a hundred years now and while the cars may have changed a bit, the attraction has remained the same. It's tyres, engines, rubber, smoke, smell, noise, it's just a bit of fun. It's great and just knowing that you've gone, you know, what, about a quarter of a, a mile in so many seconds is great. Some of the Formula One engine cars reach speeds of 140 miles per hour. Or at least, the ones that finish do. It's a popular event at Gersten Down and it's been going since the 60s. Some drivers like 78-year-old Les have competed almost every year. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't come hill climbing. Getting slower, but as long as they'll have me, I'm going to keep coming. And here. Uh, everyone is friendly. It doesn't matter what they've got, big cars, small cars. They're always out when you're in trouble. I just love hill climbing. Um, uh, I do occasionally go sprinting, but I haven't done that for a number, number of years. Hill climbing is you in the car against the hill. It's not really the seconds that count, it's the tenths or the hundredths that, that you're going for. <laughs> 